big mantle here. This is going to be the main mantle in the cabin. All right, so I am out here in the boneyard, and we have some cedar trees that, uh, you know, a couple of them were actually here when we bought the place. There were several large ones that were already cut down. And then um, a few that we had to cut down and some from a neighbor. So today I made a cut list because I need to start working on a few things that I need for in the cabin. Number one being that mantle. So of course the one I want is way on the bottom. It's that one down there. It's a good length and it looks like it keeps its shape uh, pretty good towards the bottom there, towards the end, I mean. Now, you can see kind of where it still has the outer, um, oh, Cambria, I guess it's called. And then this is heartwood. So my intention, well, first of all, is not to find a snake as I'm videoing here. Well, my second intention um, is to cut it about here and here and then just nip off the edge so you'll have that yellowish from the cedar, the sun shining, of course, right there. But then in, some of that red will pop through. We're going to do some other things. I'm, I'm going to bring you up to speed on the cabin status. All right, here's a midstream look. <clears throat> It's hard to tell, I'm sure, on the camera just how, how deep and big that pile was. Cuts, I got one, two, three, four, five, I think six chunks left. And I'm going to keep it a live edge. So all those uh, tree, I mean all those limb knots, they'll be there. They'll just be trimmed. So I need that one. And then I need this one for part of the island or I don't know yet I want to make a table so this one has been here uh, for a long time before we even were here and it's solid heartwood so there is no outside yellowish edge anymore so this will be solid red and I think I'm gonna get a couple of slices out of that and then while we're cutting uh, I'm gonna take some of these bigger ones these two here and probably that end one there and cut them into two inch slabs because I need some shelves and some other assorted goodies. That'll at least decrease the pile a little bit although I guess it'll make a pile in the shed because once I get them cut I really don't want them getting wet. Huh. I'm sure there's room in there. Alright, so step number one for our Sunday adventure is to separate the half a dozen good logs that she wants to bring out of this pile of yeah, probably 16, 18, 20 different logs. So it was kind of like... Oh, we're getting closer to you. Just a little shuffling. Uh, cedar log Jenga, but we got to separate out the six good ones and then head down the road to our neighbors and get get started on cutting. a kid always coming up with an excuse not to clean up after himself. Uh oh, well that 
didn't last long. All right, now I think we got them all loaded up. Ready for tomorrow. I know he wants me to think this is work. Come on, that's playtime for him. Range is hot. <laughs> if it falls apart, don't worry. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> on the big mantle here. This is going to be the main mantle in the cabin. We think. Yeah, we think. She thinks. Allegedly. <laughs> we'll see. If not, I'll make something out of it. Like I said, you ain't going to all right, so this is going to be the hopefully absolutely beautiful custom mantle, but it took kind of a lot of work, uh, mostly between Zeb and Sharon. You know, they had to make several cuts. He took layer cuts so she can kind of look at each cut. So we'll kind of skim through all the cuts and see how this is going to turn out. But I think it's going to turn out fantastic. So let's see how it goes. Thank you. 
This one here, we are, uh, we're trying to just take some off of the, the fatter end and get it shaped halfway decent for the uh, ultimate mantle, hopefully. There's the bottom. Okay, I promise I won't ask for any more wood. Okay. Today. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, last cut. Last cut. Hey Zeb. Are you gonna answer Sharon's text next time? <laughs> what when did she text? No, about about doing oh, the wood for her. Are you gonna answer it or just know. say uh, I'm, a little, I'm a little busy, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> fit you in next spring <laughs> the weather cools down it's not too cold not too hot there you go my machine has air yeah well hurry up so i can get in my machine that has air i don't know if it's gonna lift that that's a lot of wood We made it into the shed. Yes, the shed. With the load, we're gonna get it stickered and stacked. Uh, just not today, it's been long enough of a day. So, more to come. Look at that, he's still got room for his tractor, his UTV, and Bertha. Bertha's taking shape. Stay tuned. Okay, am I done for today yet? Are my chores done? You got toys to pick up. Well, I can't get them till tomorrow. <laughs> Just like a kid, always coming up on an excuse not to clean up after himself. Uh oh, well that didn't last long. All right, now I think we got them all loaded up. Ready for tomorrow. I know he wants me to think this is work. Come on, that's playtime for him. <laughs>